Good morning, good morning, good morning, you beautiful people. Welcome back to Shani Talks. Uh, happy Friday. It's Friday. You, you, you. Um, I was asking, you know, this morning, like, you know, I was kind of asking myself, I asked a friend, like, what should I talk about this week? What should I, you know, because like the last two, last two weeks, I've like barely talked about anything. You know what I mean? And like this week, I was like, I feel like I also don't really have anything to talk about. And they're like, you know, well, what have you been like struggling with? What have you been like, you know, feeling or, you know, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I don't know, like the last couple of weeks, I've been talking about the things that I've been struggling with. You know what I mean? Like I've been talking about like wanting to get back in the gym and like, still not doing it because you know and then i was, was like you know it's just because i'm a lazy piece of shit and they were like but you know maybe like reframe that you know because like why are you telling yourself that why are you talking to yourself like that and it's just like you know yeah you're right you're right you know i'm over here talking about all this positivity and preaching that and living that and it's like why am i why am i talking crap to myself Shani, I'll wait because it's like, hello, mm -mm. you know, self-deprecating behavior is like something that we all do. And I feel like that's just something that we've all been like ingrained in society to like believe and like think about. It's just that like we're not good enough, you know, we're the problem. And like, that's not always the case. Sometimes it is, <laughs> but sometimes it's not, you know what I mean? Sometimes it's just like. The way that society's like framed our mind and molded us and like built us and the way we've been brought up, you know, that like we have these expectations or these thoughts and it's like, you know, according to whose standards are these up to, you know what I mean? And, um... I don't know. So it's just like, it's, it's weird. I've just been like kind of going back and forth. Like, what am I going to talk about this week? What about, what have I been thinking about? And I don't know. I've been just kind of like in my own feels just about like, like I said, not being like back at the gym and not holding myself accountable, not being consistent with like the things I want to be. But like, I've been walking my dog every day. Like when I say that I want to, you know, when I said that I wanted to, you know, so that's something that like I have been consistent with. You know, I have been um, more consistent with like cleaning my house and like keeping my house tidier than normal because sometimes I'm just like a little, a little messy, little messy little thing, you know, and I'll just be throwing everything everywhere. And it's like, it doesn't, it takes two extra seconds to put something away at the time or like wash a dish at the time. And you know, I don't want to do that two seconds, but then all of those extra two seconds add up and then I'm sitting there for an hour doing dishes. I'm sitting there for an hour, like, cleaning up just, like, the mess that I've just not picked up over the day. And it's, like, why? You know, why am I making it harder for my future self in the present? You know, like, why am I making it harder for myself? And that, I feel like, goes for a lot of different things. Like, we, I feel like, choose a lot of the time to stay in, I don't want to say like negative behaviors, but like behaviors that aren't bringing us to where we want to be in the future. You know, if we have goals, if we have ideas, if we have these things that we want, why are we actively choosing to not get to that point? And I mean that in a way like that we're not that we're not making the choice to change our situation if we're in a bad situation or if we're like trying to, you know, go back to the gym. Like, why are we actively choosing things that are not going to set us up for success? And it's just things like that, that. I've been thinking about, I guess, this week. Like, I've just been, like, hard on myself because I, like, I know I'm better than this and I know I can be more consistent and more disciplined. 
but it's like I'm having this discipline in these other areas and I need to like give myself grace and need to be nice to myself because it's like the whole world is mean. Everybody can be mean. Strangers on the internet are mean. You know, your parents can be mean. Your neighbors can be mean. You know, it's just like anybody, everything in the world can be mean and negative. And it's just like, why am I also adding to that? <laughs> why would I want to be mean to myself? Why would I want to tear myself down? Because this is like literally all I have. So why am I also going to be something that's like beating myself down? That's not right. That's not going to make things better. That's not going to put me in the place that I want to be in. So why am I doing that to myself? You know, I was feeling sad girl still because it's just like, I feel like I'm friends and I'm like, and I said this to the person I was talking to about, you know, like what I was going to talk about. I was like, I know I'm going to say this and I'm going to offend like my friends who actually like reach out and like, you know, care about me. And this is not directed at you. So I'm going to tell you that now. So don't anybody get mad about what I'm going to say. But I feel sad because I feel like some of my friendships are like on me, you know, and I always like get to a point where I feel that way, where it's just like, we're not talking unless I'm initiating our conversation. We're not talking or engaging, like, unless I'm initiating that. And that always just, like, just hurts me deep in my heart. And it makes me so sad because it's just, like, <clears throat> I love my friends so much. And, like, why don't my friends love me back? Or, like, why don't my friends want to prove or show me that they love me in the same way? Or at least in half of the way. You know what I mean? Like... <clears throat> There's people that, like, I've stopped reaching out to and I haven't heard from them in weeks. And then I'm sad, you know, I'm sad about it. And they tell me, oh, I miss you, I love you. And I'm like, okay, but do you? <laughs> you know, like, we go from talking every single day, every other day, you know, to, like, not talking at all. And then you want to tell me, like, oh, I miss you, I love you, but, like, bro... The proof is in the pudding. You know what I mean? Like, actions speak louder than words. You can say you love me and you miss me all you want. But, like, I don't believe you. And I'm sad. And you probably do. You probably do love me and miss me. But I'm sad because in my mind, in my head, in my world, out of sight, out of mind, and then I'm gone. You know? So, it's like I'm feeling, like, <clears throat> sad girl about that because it's, like, I feel like I always, 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 always have to be the one to reach out to all my friends. And I'm saying, a handful of you, don't get upset. I'll be like, ah, bitch, I talk to you all the time. Like, this isn't to you. Okay, ho, shut up. But, yeah. And so it's just like, then I get my feels about that. And I'm just like, what's wrong with me? What am I doing wrong as a person? It's like, nothing, bitch, nothing. This is their world and you're just living in it, you know? And that's what you have to remember is that like, fill your own cup up. Fill your own cup up. And that's the problem. That's like a been a problem that I've been having is that like, I want to fill everybody else's cup. And then I'm sad when no one wants to like, add to my cup, but it's like, okay, but like, you didn't have to add to anybody else's cup in the first place. And not to say to, like, <clears throat> go and be a selfish person and change who you are and do all this extra stuff. But, you know, you don't need to go out of your way. Like, the person you should be going out of your way for and, you know, going above and beyond for is yourself. Is you. Is me. I should be doing that for me. So, yeah. I don't know. That's kind of what I've been thinking. And my friend brought up just like having, I don't know, I don't know if this will be like a whole nother topic, maybe one day, but they said like <clears throat> just having the, like what does freedom really mean to you? And like, especially in America and, you know, they were just saying that like freedom is just like, especially to them is like the ability to like 
have um, the opportunity to be themselves like authentically and wholly. And I think that that is very true because I feel like I want to be able to be having this the way that it is if I lived in a different country or I lived during like a different time period. You know what I mean? So I think that I'm like really grateful to have a space and to have a platform essentially <laughs> um, to be able to like talk about this stuff and say my opinion and, you know, do what I want on my little video on my little videos but you know I think that that kind of raises the question of like what does that mean to just be like authentically you what does that look like and I was kind of sitting there thinking this morning like what does that look like for me Cause I don't know. I mean, I know it's, you know, just being here on Shanty Talks, just talking a bunch of shit and talking some motivational stuff. I don't know. But like, also like, what does that look like? Like I'm thinking about, you know, the people who subscribe, the people who watch, how many views I get. Like I haven't really like, you know, kept track the way that I should, but it's interesting to think like <clears throat> one day this is going to pop off. I know it will, you know, because I'm so cool and cute and awesome. But um, <coughs> it's like weird to think about now of like, what do I want this to look like? What do I want this program to be like ultimately? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. What does Shanny Talks really look like? And what does my life coaching program really, what is it really going to be? And it just got me like really thinking like this morning, like what does being authentically me mean? And like, how do I need to mold myself to be able to handle like what's going to come in the future because like I know that like mentally and emotionally I'm not ready for it now so I hope I don't like pop off next week because I'm like <laughs> I'm not ready for this <laughs> but <clears throat> like I don't know I just need to be real with me and like just like I was saying you know on my social media last week that I just like got to a point where I just kind of got tired of my excuses you know and I feel like I'm there right now again with like the gym. You know, I got back in the gym for a couple of days and I started my period and then I got back and it was just like mm, kind of on and off, on and off, on and off. And now it's just like, okay, but like stop letting yourself have these excuses. Like if this is what's important to you, make it a priority. Stop talking about it and do it. So you're talking about like doing a book club, talking about doing like a stretching club. Okay, what's stopping you? Nothing, nothing. You, you're stopping you. I'm stopping me. That's it. What is stopping you from living your best life? What's stopping you? Security. Don't, don't make a jump without like, if you, if, if it's a job finances, like don't make the jump without making sure that it's going to cover your bases. Oh my God. That's so funny. My dog just farted. <laughs> Uh, fucking bow. That's so funny. Um, I, was, I I lost my train of thought just because just that part was just so loud and so funny. Oh my god, <laughs> Bo. <laughs> uh, but like, yeah. So it's just like I am living proof that is just like there's better. There's better. There's so much better. There's, like, big risk, but there's so much better, dude. There's so much better, and it's so worth it. It's so worth it to just do it. Just do it and make the jump. Just do it, because it's, like, way less scary when you just do it than thinking about it. Like, I'm telling you, like, thinking about whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, whatever goal you're trying to achieve, like, thinking about it is so much scarier than whatever's going to happen.
I'm telling you. Like, seriously, I was just, um, I had to look up all my, like, student loan financial shit, obviously, because the past couple years, everyone's just been ignoring it. And now they're like, hey, bitch, we're turning it back on. And I'm like, <laughs> and I've been putting it off for literally months. And I looked it up and I, and I finally looked it up last week and I was like, oh, this is it. Holy shit. Okay. Oh my God. What? This is so, okay. I, yeah. Way less intimidating. Way like I fucking psyched it up. Like we fucking think it's this huge, crazy beast, like fucking crazy, like big, big old thing. And then it's just like this, you know what I mean? Like it's nothing in comparison to like what we make it. It's just y'all start changing your life okay start going after the shit that you want to do start doing the things that that you think are going to be worth it like this life is so short call your friends call your family tell them you love them write them a quick text whatever and live your best life that's literally all i got i gotta do some chores today and i gotta make some dinner later on but yeah i hope y'all go after it this week and i hope that this gives you a little motivation to make a change any change any change, you know, whatever it's going to be to start setting yourself up for like the life that you want to live. Okay. I love you. Goodbye.